Did you just buy a GoPro for an upcoming vacation or cruise? Are you getting ready to go snorkeling and want to make sure you have what you need to take some awesome memories back home with you? If so, then this video is for you. In it, I'll cover the best GoPro accessories to use while snorkeling, and I'll leave links in the description below for all the items we talked about today. Let's get into it. I'm Thomas Hughes, a professional scuba instructor, and I love to take underwater video and photos. I currently use a GoPro for all of my footage you see on my channel, so I personally understand how overwhelming it can be when you go to Amazon, type in GoPro accessories, and just see pages upon pages of items without really knowing where to start. But don't worry, I've gone through the process for you, and these are some of the essentials you're gonna wanna pick up before your next snorkeling trip. First thing you're gonna to wanna to pick up is gonna be a floating handle grip. You do not wanna have one of those stories that you'll hear about where someone says, oh, I had this brand new GoPro, took it in the water for the first time for an obstacle course to go snorkeling, etc., and I got to watch it sink to the bottom of the ocean and look down as I scrambled and tried to kick and catch it in time, but it just slowly sank down to the bottom. Now, GoPro is aware of this problem as are many third-party vendors, and they actually make a floating hand grip for this purpose specifically. It's comfortable, it's easy to use, and it gives you something to hold on to while you're shooting footage or doing some selfies or something like that. And the best part is if it does slip off your wrist or if you do drop your GoPro at all, that handle is buoyant and it will float. So it'll actually float up to the top of the surface for you. So you can grab your GoPro and you don't have to have that story of it sinking to the bottom, never to be seen again. Now, like I said, there are some third-party ones and they have some extra features like maybe an extension pole for a longer selfie stick or maybe even a built-in tripod which is kind of cool but I haven't tried those ones out myself so I don't have a specific one to recommend. I will have a link in the description to the GoPro official one which I have used and if you see any others that you'd like feel free to pick those up instead. You really want to get the GoPro waterproof housing before taking your GoPro into the water. Now, yes, GoPros are waterproof by themselves without any housing up to 10 meters or about 33 feet, which you might think is enough. However, I found that having that extra protection of the super suit or waterproof housing not only helps if you do drop the camera at all, but let's just say that it does sink down a little bit deeper, or maybe you want to go free diving or scuba diving in the future. The GoPro official case actually is rated to 60 meters or 200 feet. So you know without a doubt that that case is gonna keep the GoPro safe and you won't have any issues with flooding or anything like that. A case like this is also gonna be required for a variety of accessories. So not only does it have the standard GoPro mount on the bottom, so you can use that same floating grip that I talked about, as well as any tripods and trays and things like that, but some of the other accessories that I'm gonna bring up actually require this case, so you can actually put them on over the lens and things like that. Because of this, adding that extra protection as well as giving you the expandability of more accessories and being able to free dive or scuba dive in the future just makes sense to have this on the camera and give it that extra protection in case you do go a little bit deeper than you planned or you let someone borrow the camera and they take it deeper or something like that. Many people don't realize this, but underwater, light can't penetrate as far like it does on the surface when going through air. Without getting too technical, basically what happens is light hits water, which is much denser than air, and because of this, the light spectrum starts to break down and you begin to lose colors as you go deeper. As a snorkeler, you can actually see this even from the surface or going down just a few feet where you'll start to see colors fade away, starting with red. If you continue to go deeper as a free diver or scuba diver, for example, you'll see other colors like yellow and orange orange and pretty much just end up with blue and green footage if you don't have some type of filter to correct that. Now, when I say red starts to disappear first, it actually starts to disappear completely around five to seven meters or 15 to 20 feet deep. So depending on where you're snorkeling, if you dive down just a few feet under and you're trying to get a reef that's below you, you might be missing the full red spectrum completely on top of that reef, meaning that your camera footage is just not gonna have that colorful pop that you expect to see when you see footage like mine or other people on YouTube. YouTube. This is often really noticeable, and if you've ever had a GoPro on a trip previously, you might have noticed that your footage is really blue or green, or you'll often see a lot of YouTube footage where it's just completely blue and green, and that's due to the lack of red color filters or color correction that's being done afterwards. To fix this, we're going to add what's known as a red filter to our lens, and these are something you can pick up, and they slide right over your waterproof housing and goes right over the lens. These filters are fairly inexpensive, and they come in a variety of densities or thicknesses to add more 
more or less red color back, depending on how deep you go. Usually there's snorkel specific lenses you can get that are a much lighter color of red or maybe even a pink, which just adds that pop back for the missing red color that I was talking about. If you're gonna be snorkeling and decide to dive down five feet or deeper, or maybe you're gonna record something like a reef that's at least five feet deeper than you, you're definitely gonna wanna pick up a set of these filters and put on that snorkel filter, which is again, gonna be the lightest shade, but it'll add that red color back in and will really make the footage pop. And you'll notice a night and day difference between that green blue footage that you had before and just the much more colorful and vibrant image that you wind up getting afterwards. I left a link in the description to one of my favorite sets and they actually make them for the older GoPro models as well. So if the compatibility is not gonna work for your GoPro model, then feel free to check out the related items and you can pick up one of the ones for the model that works for you. And finally, just to reiterate, these do snap right over the waterproof housing that I mentioned as well. So just another reason to pick up that housing too. So you can have these filters and just slide them right on or off without any extra worry. Have you ever seen those awesome 50-50 split shots that people take and post on Instagram? You get that really cool look of being able to see both above and below the water at the same time, and you get this nice clear image that kind of splits the image in half 50-50. Well, I'll be honest, this isn't something that's easy to do with a GoPro unless you have the right accessories to make it possible. A dome port is a type of housing that your GoPro can sit in that pushes the water away from the lens enough that the camera has the space that it needs to really get the proper focus and give that proper split angle to see both above and below the surface at the exact same time. This is literally how these shots are taken and it's really all you're gonna need to be able to mimic the types of videos and photos you see on your Instagram feed or on TikTok and YouTube shorts and things like that. Now, I will say some people have said that their dome ports have fogged up on them some while they were in the water due to the difference between the water temperature and the temperature inside the dome. But if you prep the inside of the dome, just like you would a brand new scuba mask, you won't have to worry about any fogging at all. Now, if you're new to snorkeling or scuba diving and you didn't realize there was a way that you could treat or prep your mask so it doesn't fog on you, then check out this video in the cards and you can actually use that same technique on your dome port every time before you get in the water and that way you know it will never fog on you at all. GoPros take amazing high quality footage, sometimes 5K or better depending on the model. However, that does mean that the battery doesn't last as long and the storage space can fill up very quickly as well. To combat this, make sure you pick up at least one high quality micro SD card that can support fast transfer speeds for 4K or better footage. And I'll leave a link down in the description to the one that I use personally. You'll also want at least one extra battery and I even recommend a dedicated charger for it too. So you can have one charging while you're in the water and when you get out, you can just swap the battery over without having to wait for the next one to charge up again. GoPro makes official battery chargers, of course, but there's third-party ones that you might be interested in too, and I'll leave links in the description below for my favorite ones. With these accessories, you'll be all set and ready to go enjoy your vacation. Turn your camera on, make sure your settings are correct, throw these accessories on, and go get in the water. Wait, you don't know what settings to use for your GoPro yet? Well, don't worry, that's exactly what I talk about in this video. Click or tap the screen now to go watch that and make sure you save these videos so you can check them out later after your trip so you can go back and review how to edit your footage and make sure that everything looks as crisp as possible before you show it to your friends and family. With that, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.